Hey guys, I'm Jeffrey. Thanks for hitting play on the video. Today I'm talking the best songs of 2021 so far, in my opinion. Number one, Brandy Carlisle's rendition of Bob Denver's Country Roads. Almost heaven, West Virginia. Multiple Grammy Award winning singer songwriter and one fourth of my favorite band the past decade, The High Women. Brandy even has her own music festival. The girls just won a festival in Mexico, and I fully intend on being at the next one when this pandemic's over. Country roads take me home to the place I belong. While Bob's version is a very lighthearted, happy ballad, hers is not. She goes deep. Misty taste of moonshine. This new Take Me Home Country Road is a new cut recorded specifically for the CBS drama Clarice. Hopefully we'll be shooting up the chart soon. It's so good. Country road, take me home. Country road. She strays from the original and makes it feel new and dark and progressive. And I love it. She said it was going to be dark and haunting, and it is. Honestly, I don't think I would have watched this Clarice show if it wasn't for this song um, to check it out, but I'm kind of digging it now. So, a journalist once said, if you don't listen to music to hear someone bear their inner soul in the hope you might feel something in return, then you're doing it wrong. Brandy pretty much delivers 100% of the time, and especially on this song. Brandy is nominated with the High Women for a Grammy this year and is probably teaming back up with Shooter Jennings on Tanya Tucker's new one, too. You know, I think she's trying and succeeding in changing the narrative of, of country music right now. It's great. And two more people in this new progressive country movement has my number two spot for my favorites in 2021 so far, Ryan Hurd and Maren Morris. But I know, yeah, I know it's a matter of time till you walk, till you walk back out of my life. Chasing after you. Oh my God, it's so good. So although this couple have performed together, written together, and recorded with each other, this is their first duet single. Mm -hmm. Ryan said in an interview recently that working on this song was completely natural, and I think that's what's different in this, is you can feel that. You can see how natural it was. It is definitely not, um, well, never mind. I'm not gonna be mean. Um, you know, I prefer to listen to my music instead of watching it, but this one's different. There's movement, and if you care, there's the shirtless Ryan Hurd, too. And then you wind up staying on that long. I mean, you know, if you like that kind of thing. I am tired of hearing about 2020 and all the bad stuff that came out of it. Um, and this song just transports you into a happy place. Cause I love chasing after you. It's, the, it's your love of this generation. See, I have this theory that Maren Morris and her uh, bubble of Nashville friends have changed the trajectory of country music. I don't think they know it. I don't think they planned it. But I think in a few years we're going to look back and see that, you know, the Natalie Hembys and the Maren Morris, Brandy Carlisles, <clears throat> and the Ryan Hurds are, are, have, have changed the direction of where this is headed. It's very progressive and it's very exciting. I really don't care for love songs right now, but um, this song makes you want it. And Ryan Hurd's been my straight boy man crush for about a year now. And Ryan Hurd, when you listen to the song lyrics that he's written for other people, you quickly realize he gets it. He's different. I don't really know what he gets, but he gets it. It's hot, it's steamy, it's romantic. The song is fantastic. It's definitely one of my favorites this year. Don't know why, don't know why I let you, but I do. The number three song, Raised Up. Yeah, I was raised up like the bass of the creek and my roots run deep like that old oak tree. Now, I don't know if I'm saying this right. Um, I first spelled it out, R-V-S-H-V-D, and said it that way. And then I convinced myself that it was pronounced ravished. <laughs> um, but I don't think that's right. And then I heard someone say, Rashad. Which, you know, doesn't make sense to me, but that's what I'm going with. Rashad. I found Rashad last year with a song, Drinking About You, just scrolling through YouTube. Pulling up in trucks and 24s on crown beat. I 
I loved it. The song was country, the story was country, but the sound and style was not. It was close, but everything seems aligned just right for this one. It took me a time or two, but I really fell for this. This is so catchy, it's so country, it's so good. You know, he's obviously lived this country life, and you can tell. I think it's interesting to hear a poor black perspective in a country song like this, and his other ones too. We hear white poor boy stories all the time, but you know, it's nice to hear a different perspective. And it's interesting, because the raising's the same, it's just the experiences afterward are different. It's fun, it's catchy, it uses some of the same formula as the, as the bro country subgenre, with something a little special about his deep south perspective. He'll be wanting to get girls up in his truck and see their blue jeans and tattoos and stuff when Nashville gets a hold of him. And that'll be fun too, but uh, until then, you know, hopefully we can just get some more music like this, you know, where he blends his country and R&B sound to make a, a good country song. It's so good, they all are. This is my phase from 2021 so far. Um, let me know some of yours in the comments below and let me know what you think about these three. Don't forget to hit like on this video, hit subscribe on the channel and I will see y'all next week.